Hi everyone, so I have been waking up at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. for a couple of years now. I guess you could say it's a morning routine of mine. Sometimes I fall into a cycle where I sleep late, wake up late, or wake up early and my sleeping schedule falls out of a routine. Here's what I do to reset my sleeping routine and actually wake up earlier without feeling miserable. <laughs> If you Google how to wake up early, you are going to find a bunch of different suggestions. I did some research for you so that you can learn how to actually wake up earlier. Benjamin Franklin once said, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man or woman healthy, wealthy, and wise. Tip number one, sleep earlier. When it comes to waking up early, we always have to talk about sleeping earlier. Our bodies need seven to nine hours of sleep and to help you do that, make sure to avoid bright lights. I've attached a sleeping schedule for every age. If you need more than nine hours of sleep, ask yourself why. Could you be stressed? Do you have medications? Every person is uniquely made, so we need to get to know ourselves and understand our environment. Tip number two, exercise early in the morning. Exercising earlier gives you energy in the morning to be productive, but only if you've made this into a habit. The first few times are going to feel rough, but you're definitely going to be super tired at night so you can get a good night's sleep. Avoid working out at night because the adrenaline rush can keep you up. Tip number three, listen to your body clock, which is also known as your circadian rhythm. If you set no alarm and you weren't distracted, what time would your body want to sleep and what time would you naturally wake up? Let's say you sleep at 12 o'clock and you naturally wake up at 9 a.m. Your body is used to nine hours of sleep and being awake for 15 hours. Now try waking up at 7 a.m. without any naps during the day and your body should be tired about 15 hours later, which is 10 p.m. Tip number four, brain activity. Waking up earlier is good for productivity. Research has found that we have different brain activity in the morning. Now, I don't wanna disregard the fact that there's a lot of people who can be very productive at night, but research has shown that people who have a body clock that can wake up earlier tend to be more alert throughout the day. Tip number five, plan things in the morning to be productive. Recently, I turned on the downtime feature on my iPhone, where basically it turns off all of my apps on a schedule. So that way I'm not distracted by social media or other things. This allows me to be much more intentional with my time and to be productive right off the bat. Tip number six, have a morning routine. I have a lot of different morning routines on my channel and it really depends on the season, but plan things that you want to do in the morning and make it a habit. One of the first things I always do in the morning is I get out of bed and I make my bed so I'm less likely to get back into it. I then will open up my curtains and let the light in because at night, I like to have everything closed and super dark in my room. Then I immediately go to the bathroom and I do all of my bathroom things like wash my face and brush my teeth. I like to wash my face with cold water, especially in the morning because it really helps me wake up. Sometimes I like to listen to music while I'm brushing my teeth because it helps me feel more pumped in the morning. Then I get changed so that I'm all ready for my day. And today's sponsor of this video is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like you and me. You can explore Skillshare's workshops, classes, and a bunch of other things. Drawing, writing, and journaling can be great ways to help manage stress, practice mindfulness, and feel connected to one another too. Ali Abdal is a YouTuber who teaches a productivity masterclass, principles and tools to boost your productivity that I think is amazing. Skillshare is a yearly subscription, but the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Tip number seven, better ourselves. Our brains require perspective. We need to be more aware of ourselves and our habits. Go to your phone and check your screen time and see how much time you spend on social media or on other apps. Many times we think we don't have time to work out or we don't have time to read and better ourselves, but actually we do. We've just chosen to spend our time on other things and that's okay, but we don't wanna make excuses as to why we can't do something. 
Tip number eight. Waking up earlier allows for deep work. Deep work requires deep focus. Very few people can focus deeply for long periods of time. Most people's lives have been optimized for distraction. People's bodies have been addicted to quit hit neurochemicals such as dopamine and even cortisol. In other words, your body likes to feel like a winner. And in order to feel that way, you need to create small wins and small moments of victory throughout your workday. So set small, achievable goals throughout your day and check it off of your list. That's going to help motivate you and help you realize you actually can do a lot more than you thought. It's not really about how long you spend being productive, it's more about how efficient you are with your time. For example, if someone says they go to the gym for two hours, but half the time they're on their phone or they're simply just walking on the treadmill and being distracted, then that's not really being as efficient as running for 10 minutes straight. So instead of doing work for two hours, maybe you can do deep work for about 30 minutes and be just as efficient. Tip number nine, more time to recover. I try my best to finish all of my work by 4 p.m. so that I can rest the rest of the night. Sometimes that doesn't happen, but having a healthy work-life balance is important, especially for those who are working from home or are doing classes from home. I like to relax by watching Run BTS or something on Netflix. And this is the time where I really have to intentionally put all of my work away and just focus on doing nothing. Tip number 10, believe you can. If you say, I could never do that, then you're putting a limiting belief on yourself. Waking up earlier can make your mornings less stressful, which in turn will make your days less stressful. So I know a lot of people come to my channel to learn how to wake up earlier or to find some form of motivation. I hope you can use these tips to create new habits. And if anything, I hope you're convinced that being an early bird isn't the most miserable thing.